What's up, guys? Today we're going to tackle lesson 519 in Word. This is going to be dealing especially with text boxes. We've been practicing with drawing and graphic presentations in Word. Text boxes have some similar function and similar features. They're useful to use when you don't want to deal with how everything fits on the page. Text boxes let you move it around, do what you want with it and make sure your text and your images look visually appealing on the page. So we're gonna go ahead and get started following the directions here. Create a new word processing document. By now, I know you guys know the drill. It says save the document as now. So we're gonna click save as. We've got a little pinned file. This is my word folder in the home document. I'm gonna save it as N-O-W, all caps save okay this time we're using a header name on the right left name left align sorry and the activity number right align 519 right here right now okay next it says find current news articles about the following topics a weather forecast local news story a national news story, a sports story, and your horoscope. So that's five things you're going to need for this document. Now, you need to go do your own research for this. I have my own articles pulled up here that I did my research. I found things related to those five categories. You need to go find your own articles. Don't just copy mine. Don't just Google mine. Go find your own articles corresponding to those five categories. Once you have them up, open them up in five different tabs. And then I will show you what we're going to do with them. First things first, we need to type the headlines for the articles in five separate text boxes with no borders. So we need to create a text box. We're going to click insert. Over here you have text box. We're going to grab simple text box. The problem with this simple text box is that it has a border. So we're going to need to select it. If you have it selected on the edge here, you can go to Drawing Tools and be able to change the Shape Outline, which is another name for border. Go down here to No Outline. If you click out, there is no border. Remember, if you have it selected, you're going to be able to see the border, even if there's not one. But if you click away from it, it clears out. Okay, now that we have that, we are going to type the headlines for the articles in five text boxes. So the first is record summer weather. This is just an article about the weather. It doesn't have to be today's forecast. You need an article with a headline and preferably a picture for in just a minute. So I'm going to use control C, control V to create me a new text box. Move it off the old text box. For my next article, this is one of my favorite local news stories ever. West Plains Skeets Power Girl for first win in program history. Okay. Control C, Control V, repeat the process, move it. Next, we got our national news story. This one was interesting to me. More than 1600 books. And here. All I'm doing, copying the headlines into five different text boxes. It's a good idea to type these headlines out rather than try to copy and paste. Not just because it's more work, but because you're probably going to get some weird formatting copying over here, and then your document is going to look strange. We want all these headlines to look the same. Therefore, it's not a big deal just to type them out. Here's my sports story. Okay, last one, copy and paste, some kind of article related to the horoscope. I know this is probably not a technical horoscope, 
I just don't know much about it. So I found an article with a headline related to it, and that's enough for this assignment. We have our five headlines. Next, I'm going to click back to the book and find out what's next. Resize the text boxes so that they each measure one inch high and 1.75 inches wide. Okay, this is going to be very similar. You've been doing this with drawings. We're going to go to our drawing tools. Up in the top right here, we have size. So we're going to do one inch high and 1.75 inches wide. Right there. Okay, right here. Same specs. Okay. So the size on all of these matches up perfectly. Okay, it says wrap the headline text within each text box if necessary. So in this case, our text is already wrapping and fitting perfectly. We don't need to do anything with it. We're going to leave it. Insert an image relating to the corresponding headline above each text box. Now you've got two options here. You can go through online pictures and try to search one just like we practiced yesterday in a kind of clip art style or just find a free online image, or you can go directly to the article. Like for me, I'm gonna right click on this image. I can click copy image, come over here for record summer weather, and I'm going to paste as a picture. Okay, that makes it pretty big. Size it down. And then we can put it up here next to the record summer weather text box. Okay, in order to move the image around a little bit more easily, I'm going to change my layout options. And I'm going to say it goes behind text, fixed position on page. If you click fixed position on page, it stops trying to make it fit with all the text and everything that's already there. And you can just move it around the way you need. To. That's going to be easier for us today. So I'm going to move these text box out of the way. Move record summer weather underneath it. There we go. Okay, we need another image. I'm going to go back to the website because I like this picture. Going back here, same deal. Resize. We're going to click behind text and then we're going to put it next to that headline I might even move this headline down move this headline to the side just to clear the way okay done what we need to do more than 1600 books banned during the 2021 so in this case i'm going to use our online pictures just to show you what you what else you could do here we're going to say books, enter. That's a cool image of a book. Double click on it. It'll throw it in here. Make sure we fix position on the page. We can move right over there. Okay, and then what else we got? Five star prospect from Georgia. Okay, for this one, I'm even going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to get that circle. We can collapse. Get that circle in the image. Okay, I'm going to take a screenshot because I don't really want this whole thing, but I think this little shot right here is cool. So I'm going to use the Windows key, Shift S. That'll let me take a selection. So I'm going to take a selection. Oh, that didn't work. That was a little strange. Try this. There we go. That'll probably look better. I'm going to take a selection. 
it popped up in my notifications. I can go here and I'm going to pick, I believe this will copy it to my clipboard. I'm going to go over here and control V, paste. And a nice little image. So you can use screenshots as well. And that will work just fine. Go over there. Perfect. Okay, one more Zodiac fun facts. We're going to use this. Come back over here. Paste as a picture. Resize. And then put it with the headline. So I have five different headlines. I have five different images. Let's go back to our instructions. It says group the text box and the image so that they become one object. So these need to be above each text box. We're going to group them. So we've got these two. I'm going to shift click each. Right click. Group. Perfect. Okay, repeat the pattern. You guys have a lot of practice with this after this week. Group, we've got it. Shift click. Let's make sure those are a little bit off. It's going to look better if we center them. Okay, group. There we go. Same with that, center. Okay, group. And group. Okay. So all of these are grouped. We can move them around with each other. Now we need to arrange the objects so they're visually appealing and that all objects fit on one page. So make sure you don't go more than one page here. We want these to be visually appealing. My zodiac picture is the biggest. So I'm going to put it up in the top center. Try to be close to the middle of the page. This one's small. We'll put it right here. West Plains is my favorite. I'm going to put it right there. And then drop these down near to the bottom. So you got it mixed out. They're spaced out. They're kind of centered. They look a little bit nice. As long as they're grouped together, they look all right, and they're all on one page, we are good to go. Carefully proofread your work. Make sure I didn't misspell anything crazy. Looks good to me. Be sure any changes have been saved. That's why you're going to save. You can click Control-S as well. That will save. And then you're finished. Turn it in.